All right, come on in, hit the like button, think about subscribing if you're already. If you're new here, welcome to the channel, but most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So this is my personal opinion and slash review for the 2021 horror Netflix miniseries called Midnight Mass. Here's the plot. A young man returns to his isolated hometown on Crockett Island, hoping to rebuild his life after serving four years in prison for killing someone in a drunk driving accident. He arrives at the same time as a mysterious, charismatic, young, mysterious priest who, become, who begins to revive the town's faith. Now here is the cast. Straight away, I got that strong Stephen King vibes. Now, let me in the comments below if he if this was based on the book or if it was highly uh, inspired. But you got this creepy and super heavy religion base. You even got that one nut job that you strongly want to strangle. Everything about this says Stephen King to me, and that's just other things, including it being on a small town in an island. The free-handed camera placement was fantastic there. Uh, there is a right way and a wrong way of doing camera head uh, free-handing. For, so, for the most part, I've seen it being the shaky, uh, too shaky and too hard to see what was going on. But in this case, it was very steady. I will say though, in one long scene on the beach, the director really overdid the 360 uh, degree camera movement. It was getting me to make me nauseous, and uh, yeah, I, I can imagine other people doing it too, because he did it way too much. And just in that one scene, he didn't do it anywhere else. I don't know why, but he chose to do it for some reason. I love the use of the deep dialogue that was used in certain scenes. Now, there are jump scares that got me pretty good, but it gets predictable at times pretty fast. The writing, for the most part, was good. However, for me personally, I hated everything about Episode 5. It didn't have that impactfulness to me because they could have easily gone another uh, direction with it and a better one about to push that part of the story forward. Uh, the actor that played the priest stood out to me personally by far the most. Very detailed and uh, passionate dialogue from him through Physical movement, facial expressions, and powerful dialogue. And that was from beginning to the end. Now here is my written Uncle Mac my fall thoughts. Overall, this had well parts to it, but had about two promatic scenes writing-wise. And honestly, I don't know how I feel about the ending, specifically a couple character stories but a good series to check out. Now, what are your guys' thoughts? Let me know in the comments below. Um, that is all I have for you today. Um, it'll be a couple day, a day or two before I can put out a movie review. And there might be more than one this week with a movie review. Um, but uh, you never know. So, But in the meantime, remember, I love you all. Please spread the love. Most importantly, Skull.